Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Depths, back with some more Kamehame Project. Now, normally I didn't, wouldn't do an introductory video to um, an event, I'd just show off um, some of the event gameplay, but this one's important because there's been quite a few changes that's actually noticeable now. And we can go over them down here before I start showing them off in game. Now, if you notice, there's also another tab right there off to the side, which we're going to cover first. And this is about people that's actually been cheating or hacking the game or whatever. Now, normally, I wouldn't even care about cheats or hacks. Because, as you've seen, I've done it in a few games too. But when it comes to playing with other people or anything that influences somebody's income, that's not a good thing. So, honestly... I, I actually thank them for trying to get rid of any cheaters or hackers because that also can manipulate a few things in some games too. Like if you play Para Para Seduction, somebody hacking can easily get themselves in the top 500 or something like that and then just get the, um, the bonus character and that locks out another person that could have had it. So, again, stuff like that really isn't cool. Especially in the case of when you're actually trying to get characters that haven't even been out yet. But like, as they said right here, there's characters or items that hasn't even been released and some people are getting them. No. Just... Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Just... Just don't do it. But anyways, getting to the main point of this video. Now, of course, we have the Halloween, Halloween Raid event. And you can get all these rewards. There's an SSR weapon, there's an SR weapon that releases a Kamehime. Keep that in mind because that happens every single one of these raid events, apparently. Except for the Union raids. There's of course the Adol one. And there's a couple of SR weapons. Now, here's some very, very interesting changes they've done. Ragnarok raids can now be open with event items. That makes it much, much easier to start a Ragnarok raid. But, the Compensate... Only up to 10 players can get into a Ragnarok raid. I guess I consolidated it because it gets some long loading time or whatnot. So, if you see somebody else's Ragnarok raid open up, you need to go in there very, very quickly. Standard and Expert Quest have been updated to a single type. Now, I haven't really fully checked this out, but I guess that means that there's no red or blue anymore. It's just one single thing. And the Devil Divine Souls, the SSR weapon, and the Adola Rewards, they've been manipulated to the point where they actually are are just all, all in one straight um, list. Like, Devil Souls have their own list, Divine Souls have their own list, and the PP has their own list, the participation points. They now merge a lot of stuff into two lists. I'll get to the PP list in a second, because that one's got a drastic change, but I don't know if it's good or bad just yet. And then, event gotchas consolidate into a single gotcha. Remember how we used to have two gotchas? Now they're just one. And again, that, that ties into the PP list as well. Because I haven't played the event yet, so I don't know full details just yet. But anyways, that's not just the only change they've done. If you go into the quest section, right now the raids are half off. So, if you do need to build up some stuff, you could also do that. But, oh look, there's a Raid Quest button, and they're not on this list anymore. Meaning you do not have to go to the first part of the world map anymore. There's a Raid Quest button now, finally. That means they put all the raids in here, except for the event ones. You still gotta click on the event banner to get to those. But this is the biggest change they've done so far that really, really helps. Because you don't no longer have to go all the way over there. They even gave it a special background. But look, I can click on these and it's just pick my raid now. And like I said, they're half off, so. But that's where this raid boss available button is, but you can also hit it right there. Now it's the time to be using the menu to go to raid boss available because you got two screens to go through instead of one usually. But anyways, that really helps out now. 
They consolidated all the raids into one single button. I've been waiting for that one. I didn't know they did it over on the um, Japanese side, but that's what works. Then on top of that, they have all these stuff too. If you're missing some break limit materials, this is actually a good time to draw the Scotch. I'm just putting that out there. But again, that's for paying players. Free players can't really do this, so... All you have is Magic Jewels if you're a free player, sadly. That's your only means of getting a lot of this um, good stuff. But as I said, gotcha tickets. They're all in one single gotcha, but this means that there's two SSR items in there instead of one. So it might be a little bit harder to pull some stuff. But this is the biggest thing you need to look at, too. Because I already said in another video, the prep work is to try and get light characters to face this darkness one. Now, if you notice, there's a lot of Divine Soul rewards right here. They put the materials in here a lot more. And then they changed some of the lists, too. It's like, half of the, um, half of the, um, soul points is pretty much in this list, and the other half in the Devil Souls. But again, they put a lot more stuff in the one list. You still need the basic 60 in order to get, get, um, some of the stuff. Like, 60 Divine Souls get you the SSR. 80 will get you a, um, weapon. And then there's a hundred just for that one. Now it's half expecting it on 120. But yeah, 150 gets you three of those. And if you somehow get 200, you get two um, of the weapon as well. But as you can see, they consolidate a lot more stuff into these lists, so they're more worthwhile trying to get those. And I don't even know if it's easier, considering the, that they kind of change the mer change the quest a bit. Like they merge a few, and then the others is like. And then now that I think about it, did I see? Yeah, see, twenty five double souls. You can get this SSR add on so very quickly now. That is really good. But um, as you can see, they they made the list a little bit easier to manage. Like, 50 Devil Souls gets you the weapon on here, and then 70 gets you that Adolin. You only need 100 Devil Souls now. So it's 100 Devil Souls and 200 Divine Souls. Before, you used to need 300 of each. But see, here's the thing with the PP list. I don't even need to scroll through this. Because this is what you're getting the entire way through for participation points. Yeah. Each milestone you hit for the participation points gives you five gotcha tickets. However, through a bit of calculation and whatnot, there's four reward panels each single page. So, four times 15 pages is 60. You get five raid gotcha tickets each time. So, you get 300 tickets by completing this whole entire list. And that takes three million participation points. Now, if you still get a bunch of participation points by running the um, the raid gotcha, then you can quickly get this list completed. So they made it easier to get these. They made it easier to get Devil Souls. They made it a little bit easier to get Divine Souls, but you somehow need 200 of those. They consolidated all that stuff and made it a little bit easier. And then the event gotcha itself. And this is new territory to me. But with how they sap and did it, they merged the two SSR items as I thought. I usually hit the skip animation thing. But for the sake of pulling, I'm going to try and get a lot of tickets and just try and do an event pool video because I haven't done that. So, and it's not bad trying to do that too because you can pretty much get your, your idol and your weapon if you grind enough. There's no RNG involved anymore. So, that said, grind the crap out of this event. They made this, they made the raid events much, much better. Not just these ones, but the Union ones too. But that's for a different reason, and we'll we'll cover that again when it pops up again because there's going to be another one. There's another few Union ones, but um, 
this Halloween Raid event, grind it, enjoy it. They did way better on it so far, from what I've seen. Especially with the Ragnarok update, because Ragnarok used to be random, now you can force it. So, if you can handle the Ragnarok one, go for it. But, anyways, that's all I got to say for now, guys. There's also a gotcha where they give you some, um, limited Halloween Kamehime. If you want them, go ahead. I'm not too worried about them. They're both Thunder Element. Michael is good in, as a light character. Especially considering the fact that she gives you a light SSR weapon. But, go for those if you're a paying, paying player if you want. But you're better off going for the break limit materials. But anyways, that's all I have to say for now guys. Take care.